Okay. Then um, this is Syria related, it, but it also has to do with Yemen. Over the weekend, you saw you, there was this <clears throat> airstrike on a on a funeral by the Saudi-led coalition, and I'm just wondering: Does the administration see any difference between this kind of thing and what you accuse the Russians and the Syrians and the Iranians of doing in Syria, particularly Aleppo? Well, yeah, I think there are. Other than the support the Saudi coalition and don't support the Syrians and Russians? What, what are the other differences? What's your case? Our case is simply this. strike over the weekend is being investigated. <laughs> yeah, it looks like my new co-anchor may need a glass of water. <laughs> <clears throat> uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> In other news, the prime minister of Sweden visited Washington today and my tiny little nipples went to France. What did he just say? Check the prompter. I'm just fine. Evan, read the copy, please. The copy's good. Just read it. The White House Reception Committee greeted the prime rib roast minister, and I do the cha-cha like a sissy girl. <laughs> I like a do the cha-cha. I'm sorry, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. In other news... My apologies. <laughs> and the Saudis publicly said uh, that they were going to investigate this uh, as, uh, you know, for the potential of it being, uh, in fact, uh, wrongly implemented and wrongly executed. I haven't seen a single case in Syria where... Uh, the regime or the Russian military, after bombing civilian targets, deliberately. Uh, uh, it was me! And indiscriminately said, yeah, we're going to look into that. Uh, we're not sure that, it, you know, that we did that right. We're going we're to take a look at it. Not once. Not once. Um, but the Saudis are, and the, they're willing to admit that this could have been a mistake, and that they're going to, and they're going to investigate that, and they've done that in the past. First, Mr. Reed, I see where your client. Your Honor, I would like a continuance. This case has already been delayed several times, Mr. Reed. I realize that, Your Honor, but I would really, really, really like a continuance. I'll have to hear good cause, Counsel. What's the problem? I can't lie! Commendable, Mr. Reed, but I'm still waiting to hear good cause. Now, do you have one or not? Not! Most for continuance denied. Um, so it is different. 
Um, I think it's also important to remember uh, that uh, in the Saudis' case, uh, they have, they are, their cities, their citizens are under very real, darn near daily threat uh, from missiles being launched on the Yemeni side of their border. Missiles that are provided by Iran to the Houthi rebels. So there is a, there is this the, the pressing requirement for self-defense to them um, right across the border that uh, certainly has um, driven much of uh, of their military activity uh, in Yemen in the past. Now, I do want to say, uh, and you saw our statement over the weekend, uh, we take this very seriously. Um, and we have been nothing but candid and forthright with the Saudis about our concerns over civilian casualties and collateral damage and um, our concerns about lack of precision in the conduct uh, of some of these strikes. So I don't want to wave it off and say that the United States uh, isn't taking this very, very seriously, what, ha what happened in Yemen. And as, again, as you saw from the statement that the NSC issued, that, uh, that we're going to review uh, the aid and assistance that you pointed to in your question uh, that go to uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, particularly, well, we always do in every case. We constantly review that aid and assistance, but in particular light of of this strike over the weekend. So, yeah, there's some key differences. So, uh, this, so you, you don't think that, despite the fact that no investigation has been completed yet, you're, you're sure that this was not deliberate? No, I didn't say that. Oh. Well, you, but you said that the Russian and Syrian attacks are deliberate. They are. Okay. They are. I'm, didn't, I'm, did, I'm, what I'm saying I, is maybe, that, maybe I'm wrong on this, but didn't, do you not regard the Russian call for an investigation into the attack on the aid convoy as a real thing? Uh, well, they, they can point to how real it is. I, uh, I've also seen they, they, they flip-flop, right? First they said they, they wanted an investigation, then they pulled it back. From it. So it's not exactly been a, a clarion call for an investigation. And what we're seeing in Aleppo is nothing but a concerted effort uh, over recent days to, to take that city by force, to subdue it by force. This isn't, this isn't uh, indiscriminate, haphazard, accidental bombing of infrastructure, it's very deliberate. All right, this may, I think this is probably my last one on this, but you, you, you pointed to the fact that the Saudis are doing this self-defense, is that the, not this one they this were, specific thing, but look, the whole, I, in, in so its entirety. They were, they were invited in by the Yemeni government, the right. Saudi-led coalition was invited in by the Yemeni government. Now I know what you're going to say, well, Russians were invited by no, no, Syria, by no. Assad to do I no, get no, no, this. No, 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 I'm no. not trying to make too much of a historical I, analogy. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to. Yes, wasn't. they were, yes, they, they were invited in by uh, the Yemeni government, and they are under th real threat yeah, on yeah. their side, on the on the Yemeni, Yemeni side of their of their So border. you, the, 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 that wasn't where I was going with this, but you said that they're under threat, that the Saudis are under threat from missiles provided by Iran. And yet, at the same time, you surely you must understand that Yemeni civilians are increasingly at risk and being killed by weapons that the United States has furnished to the Saudis and their coalition partners in this. So you, you don't find that there's a, any kind of an issue with this? Because a lot of people of do, including, do, including on the Hill. So just because these no, no, missiles no, no, no. were made in Iran, I mean, they can, people on the ground in Yemen are looking at what's coming, raining down on them from the sky, and it says made in USA on it. Is that not a problem? Of course it's a problem. And that to hear good cause, Consul. What's the problem? I can't lie!